Hello students, I warmly welcome you to the session on reading comprehension. If you have a look at the structure of your O-level English paper, you'll notice that you have five questions related to reading out of the 16 questions. And these questions are designed to check your reading comprehension or simply your understanding of the text in covering diverse competency levels such as uh, extracting specific information from various types of texts, inferring and identifying the main ideas of texts. So it's possible for you to feel that tackling these reading comprehension questions is a bit challenging and hard at times. So today you are going to learn three reading strategies, three essential three reading strategies to help you comprehend the text, handle the questions effectively, and score good marks in your examinations. Daruvane, Oyala, reading comprehension questions, Valata, Uttara Liyanne Addi Samhara Velavata Oyalata Dhaninna Puluwaam Prashna Amaruy Kiyala Mukada Me Prashna Nirmane Karala Tiyenne Vivida Nipunata Mattam Aavaraneya Vena Vidihata Itting Adha Oyala Ikinaganne Anne Kiyavima Sambandayin Krama Veda Thunak Itamat Vedagat Krama Veda Thunak Itting Me Krama Veda Thuna Oyala वालगे reading comprehension questions कराती बाविता करो इतामात पहासोएं इकमनिं निवारदीव पिलितुरु होया गान्ना पुलवा। So without further ado, let's get started. Here you can see the content we are going to cover today. As I have said to you earlier, we are going to cover three essential reading strategies, namely scanning, skimming, and inferring. Now, now, don't be scared of these terms. You are going to learn these techniques one by one in a simple way. And then we are going to practice these techniques with the use of some questions from your past papers. All right, let's discuss the first reading technique, scanning. I will tell you a simple example to make you understand this technique. Right, imagine that you had an exam. And now you hear the news, your results have been released, and the result sheet is being displayed on the notice board. Now you are about to have a heart attack. Right, you are so excited to go and see your result. I have a question. Are you going to read all the results from the beginning until you find your result? I don't think so. You'll move your eyes rapidly over the result sheet in search of your index number to see your result as soon as possible and then you see your result. That's it. That's what you call scanning. Less reading and more researching. You can apply the same technique when you are tackling your reading comprehension questions to locate specific information such as names, figures, and places. All right, so now let's see the steps to use this technique. We'll assume that you have a reading passage and a set of questions to answer. You don't read the reading passage first, but you are going to read the questions. And as you are reading the questions, you are going to underline the key words in the question. Now you might be wondering what these keywords are. Keywords are the most important words in a question. 
they will help you scan the text and find the correct answer. If we consider the previous example, when you are scanning your result sheet, the keyword was either your index number or your name. Is it clear? Right. In general, keywords are mainly verbs and nouns because they carry the information and we don't consider articles uh, and the uh, and prepositions behind in on at as keywords another thing you have to remember when we are talking about the keywords is sometimes you won't be able to find the exact keyword in the passage but definitely you will be able to find some synonyms or similar words in the passage for example in the question you have the keyword gift but when you scan the text you can't find the word gift there instead you have the word present which is a similar word clear turning to the next slide you have the question words question words are also keywords i think you know the meanings of these question words i'm not going to explain it because i believe you know the meanings right now you know what the keywords are so after you identify the keywords in your question the next step is to move your eyes over the text in search of these keywords hari daruwane mokadda mama dan me kiyuwe etakota api scanning kiyana technique eka use karaddi ඔයාලගේ reading comprehension questions වලට පිළිතුරු සපයන්න පළවෙනියටම ඔයාලා හොඳට මතක තියා ගන්න ඕනේ ඔයාලා reading passage එක නෙමෙයි කියවන්නේ පළවෙනියටම කියවන්න questions ටික එහෙම නැත්තම් ප්‍රශ්න ටික ඒ ප්‍රශ්න ටික කියවලා ඒ ප්‍රශ්න වල තියෙන keywords එහෙම නැත්තම් ඉතාමත් වැදගත් වචන ටික ඉරි ඇඳගන්න ඒ වචන තමයි ඔයාලා රීඩින් ටෙක්ස්ට් එකේ හොයන්න යන්නේ තේරුණාද ඔල් රයිට් සෝ ආෆ්ටර් යු ලොකේට් යුවර් කීවර්ඩ්ස් වට් ආ යු ගෝයින් ටු ඩූ රයිට් දෙන් යු හැව් ටු රීඩ් ද සරවුන්ඩින් ටෙක්ස්ට් කෙයාෆුලි ටු ෆයින් ද කරෙක්ට් ආන්සර් දැන් මොකද කරන්නේ දැන් කීවර්ඩ්ස් ටික පැසේජ් එකේ හොයා ගත්තට පස්සේ එතනද ඔයාට කෙලින්ම උත්තරයක් ගන්න බැරි නම් සමහර විට නමක් තියෙනවා නම් ප්ලේස් එකක් තියෙනවා නම් ඉය එකක් තියෙනවා නම් ඔයාට කෙලින්ම ස්කෑන් කරලා උත්තරේ ගන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වුණාට අපිට කෙලින්ම එහෙම නැත්නම් ඩිරෙක්ට්ලිම උත්තරේ ගන්න බැරි ප්‍රශ්න වලට ඔයාලට කරන්න තියෙන්නේ ඒ කීවර්ඩ්ස් ළඟ තියෙන සෙන්ටෙන්සස් කියව ගන්න එතකොට උත්තරේ තියෙන්නේ ඔන්න ඔය සෙන්ටෙන්සස් අතරමයි එතකොට ඔයාට ලේසියෙන් පුළුවන් ඒ ප්‍රශ්නෙට අදාළ පිළිතුර හොයා ගන්න ඔල් රයිට් සෝ විල් අසියුම් දැට් යු ෆවුන්ඩ් ද ආන්සර් ඕකේ ද ලාස්ට් ස්ටෙප් ඉස් යු හැව් ටු රී රීඩ් ද ක්වෙස්චන් ටු ඩිටර්මින් ඉෆ් ද ආන්සර් යු ෆවුන්ඩ් ආන්සර්ස් ද ක්වෙස්චන් ඕකේ ටු චෙක් වෙදර් යුවර් ආන්සර් ඉස් කරෙක්ට් සෝ අයි හෝප් you have understood that scanning is a useful technique or ca- scanning is a technique which is very easy for you to use in order to locate information so let's explore this technique using some questions from your past papers i have extracted this question from your 2019 paper and this is not the full text just a few paragraphs right here you have the passage are you going to read the passage no you are going to read the questions first underline the most suitable answer 
here you have ma MCQ questions. Okay, we call them multiple choice questions. You have three options here. Right, let's have a look at the first question. Whose birthday falls in October? Okay, just try to find out what the keywords are here. Whose, the question word, birthday and October. How about the second sentence? What was Sanduni doing when her sisters arrived? What, the question word, Sanduni, the person, doing, sisters, arrived. Right, now you have identified the keywords in the questions. The next step is you are going to find these keywords in the passage. Okay, we'll focus on the first question. You have to deal with one question at a time. Right, this is the passage. Now I am scanning the words. Here you can find October and birthday. Right, so now the next step is you are going to read the surrounding text to find the answer. We'll read. It was a beautiful warm Saturday in October and Sanduni's family had decided to have a picnic. Sanduni was helping her mother to get the picnic table ready for their lunch when the two of her married sisters arrived. Happy birthday, mother. I think you were able to find the answer. It's Sanduni's mother. How did you find the answer? Have a look at this sentence again. Sanduni was helping her mother. So it's about Sanduni's mother. Sanduni was helping her mother when her sisters arrived and wished happy birthday mother. So the answer is the option B, Sanduni's mothers. Now pause the video and try answering the rest of the questions. I hope you have completed the questions. Okay, I, I hope you completed answering the questions. Now let's have a look at the answers. What was Sanduni doing when her sisters arrived? A. Preparing the picnic table. Next one. How much money did the piggy bank have? So what are the keywords in this question? How much? Question word. Piggy bank. Have. The answer is A, less than 100 rupees. With that, we'll move on to the next task. Okay, you are not going to read the text first. As usual, you are going to read the questions. Now, pause the video and underline all the keywords in these questions. Right. Here I have highlighted the keywords. Just check whether you could highlight or underline the keywords accurately. Here you can see these are not MCQ questions. In these questions, you are supposed to write the answers. Okay, we'll have a look at the first question. What is special about the way the penguins walk? Now the keywords are what? Special way penguins walk. Right. Let's scan the passage. Here you can see I have highlighted the words penguins and walk. Okay, we don't have the exact answer yet, so we are going to read the surrounding sentences. Penguins are one of the world's most interesting birds. They waddle when they walk. Here the pronoun they refers to penguin. So what's the special thing about the way the penguins walk? They waddle. So it's the answer. You can say they waddle, they waddle when they walk or waddle as answers. Now pause the video and find the answers to the rest of the questions. 
I hope you have completed the activity. Let's have a look at the second question. Which sentence says that most which sentence says that people think all penguins live only in one place in the world? Copy the sentence. Right. The sentence is many people think all penguins live in the cold and ice of Antarctica. Right. Here you have the question uh, you have the keywords in this sentence all penguins live and what's this one place hmm? it's antarctica and the place it's antarctica right the next one state whether the following statements are true false or not given the first one all types of penguins are found in antarctica right the answer is false because all types of penguins can be found in different areas. I hope you have read it and understood. The next one, the major challenge for the emperor penguin is the loss of sea ice. Not given. Here we are not talking about the emperor penguin. With that, we are moving on to the second reading strategy, skimming. What's skimming and why do we skim? We skim in order to find the general idea of the text or the main idea of the text. Right? Api skim karani mokata the moolika adhasa text ekaka dana ganna. So when you skim, you tend to follow these techniques. You tend to read the topic and subheadings if they are given. If it's a lengthy text, you are going to read the first and last paragraph of the text because first paragraph includes the introduction and the last paragraph includes the conclusion. And if you are given a single paragraph, you are going to read the first and the last sentences of the paragraph. Have you heard of topic sentences? Do you know what topic sentences are? Topic sentence usually appears as the first sentence in a paragraph. And it sums up the main idea of the paragraph. So if you have a look at the um, topic sentence, you will be able to understand what the paragraph is about. Right, with the knowledge you have gained, okay, let's explore this technique with the use of this question right underline the most suitable subheading to the paragraph given below okay there are three subheadings safely me safety measures for penguins world penguins are at a risk food for penguins pause the video and underline the keywords these are the keywords, safety measures, penguins, world penguins, risk, food, penguins. Okay, now we are going to read the first paragraph and the last paragraph. The loss of sea ice harms emperor penguin chicks and adults. Hari, then me palavini paragraph ke kiyane mukakari safety measure ka ganada. Ehmanatang, hmm? Safety measure ka gana make kiya veni ne hai. Harms kiya na vachane ke ani haani daaya kai kiya la. Ita kutta risk kiya la api kiya ne. Devani option ne ke tiya na vidhiya ta abadhanam kiya na eka. Ita kutta mithana podi sambandhya koya ta pena wa. Ita kutta food. Food kiya la api mokakka tiya na vada mithana ne hai. Now we are going to read the last sentence. For adults the loss of sea ice can lead to lower food availability which can result in increased mortality. Now you have the keyword food here. Eunata food ke na keyword eka thibunata food ganada meke kata karanne. Nah, meke kata karanne loss of sea ice kiya na eka etakota me sea ice nathi unoth mokada wenne aahara aduwi mak Tiada puluang, ekor balap panawa, 
mortality walata ehema naththam marana anupate igena ganna e kiyanne avadanama so the subheading here is world penguins are at a risk so i hope now you know how to use skimming in order to identify the main idea of a text right with that we'll move on to the last reading technique inferring or inferring to figure out unfamiliar words in context students remember it might not be possible for you to know all the words in a text but you don't need to know all the words in a text to understand its meaning but there is a possibility for you to get such a question in which you are asked to write or underline the meaning of an unfamiliar word what are you going to do don't worry there is an option right you are going to guess the word based on the information that you know we call it inferring now let's see the steps to do inferring okay now you have the difficult word okay and you are going to read the sentences which come before and after the difficult word it will help you understand the background knowledge if it will help you gain the background knowledge and guess the word or guess the meaning of the word etukota daruwane inferring wala api mokada karanne oyalata amaru wachanayak tiyenna puluwan ehema unahama kalabala wenna epa oyalata puluwan e amaru wachaneta kalin tiyena sentence eka e wagema passe tiyena sentence eka kiyawala e oyala danna wachana walin therumak ganna e theruma danagena oyalata puluwan e dannathi wachane තේරුම අනුමාන කරන්න so we'll explore this using this task okay underline the correct word the word disappointed means we'll assume that you don't know the word disappointed okay there are three options extremely happy sad and tired right now you are going to read the sentences which come before and after this word i have highlighted the word in the passage we'll read headache the topic one day a man went to see a doctor in a hurry he rushed into the doctor's clinic but was disappointed to find that the doctor was away his assistant was seated on a chair fast asleep then mukada vela tiyenne eka pudgalek olu ekak kuma tiyena pudgalek kadi mudiye gihilla tiyenawa doctor wa hamba wenda behet ganda e unata doctor indala naha the doctor was away එතකොට මෙතන ඉන්න ඇසිස්ටන්ට් මොකද එයා පුටුවේ හොඳටම නිදි. එතකොට ඔයාට දැන් ඩොක්ටර් වෝස වේ කියන්නේ ඩොක්ටර් නෑ කියන එක තේරෙන්නේ නැත්තම් ඔයාට ලොජිකලි හිතලා බලන්න පුළුවන් ඇසිස්ටන්ට් ඩොක්ටර් ඉඳී නම් එහෙම නිදාගෙන ඉඳීද කියන එක. right. and what do you think will this person be extremely happy that the doctor isn't in the club? no. will he be sad? yes because he is suffering from a headache and the doctor is not in the clinic how about the last option tired no there's nothing about the tiredness in this passage so the correct answer is sad so i think now you know how to infer okay now you know how to guess the meanings of the words that you don't know using the context clues and we call it inferring with that students we have come to the end of the lesson today i want to equip you with some essential reading strategies three reading strategies scanning skimming and inferring and after you learn these techniques we practiced these techniques with the use of some questions from your past papers but that's not enough you have to practice these techniques over and over when you are doing your reading comprehension questions before your exam so it will help you get high marks in your examination all the best have a productive day